My name is Amy Prawl. I'm Allison's mom. Um, I'm a GLUT1 mom, which means my daughter has GLUT1 deficiency, which is the reason that she had seizures. Okay. Um, we thought she just had epilepsy, which as we know isn't, isn't a thing. Um, but she failed about eight med or med combos over a two-year period. Yep. And then we sort of did a Hail Mary genetic test that tested for 100 rare diseases and we got lucky and we found out that she had blue one deficiency, which is a disorder where there's a defect in the transporter protein that takes the glucose in the blood across the blood-brain barrier. So the poor brain is in fuel crisis, manifesting through seizures, movement disorder, that sort of thing. Anyway, so pulled her off seizure meds, put her on the ketogenic diet, and voila, seizure control. Wow. I know. So um, our first year at the at Epilepsy Awareness Day, we were on that side of the table. We were just a family looking for answers and fellowship and, you know, I don't know, something. Um, and support? Some sort of, yeah, some sort yeah. of encouragement and support. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and then once she was diagnosed, we became involved with the GLUT1 Deficiency Foundation, which is obviously um, all parent run and we fund uh, research in this area. And uh, we sort of give back by every year manning the booth for uh, epilepsy awareness and doing our best to talk about um, genetic testing if you don't know the reason for your seizures, if you don't have good seizure control. We talk about uh, the ketogenic diet, which of course is the only line of treatment for Allison, but also helps a lot of other people. And so we encourage people, if, if that's important to them, that it's not as awful as other people think. It's daunting but doable. And uh, yeah, just sort of listen. There's a lot of a lot of listening to people's stories, some hugging. Sometimes there's tears, but, um, but yeah, so that's over here. Okay. Uh, you mentioned to me that uh, you came to Epilepsy Awareness Day um, as uh, a, a person who um, with your daughter to find out more information. Mm -hmm. um, how many years ago was that, and how? Helpful did you find it from with other people from other organizations? It was the very parents. first year, so I think we're on the sixth year. Yeah. Okay, so it would have been the first year. Um, I didn't even know what I didn't know. I didn't even know what I was looking for. I just uh, had met Brad and um, thought this was the place to be and walked around just sort of looking at all the other kids and all the other adults in purple yep. shirts and I remember her saying, does everyone here have epilepsy like me? And I said, well, not every person, but, you know, they're affected by it. So, uh, we didn't, we really didn't even know kind of what we were looking for. We just wanted to be with people in our same situation who yep. got it. And so if your kid needs a break or a snack or a med or something, it's just that normal here. So. And, um, so you, you said to me that your, your daughter has a seizure freedom, mm -hmm. um, and that's fairly, yep. Always not word for that. Uh, ketogenic diet, mm -hmm. uh, so off medication or taking medication? Well, uh, we don't take meds for seizure, for seizure control, no. Um, she's on some um, prescriptions, you know, for the diet. Um, okay. There's a few things that we want to, that we watch that we monitor and you know certain vitamins and that sort of thing. But yeah, no seizure meds, clean EEG. Wow. Well, okay. Again, so. And um, so, so you're you're talking to other families as well. Mm -hmm. How has that been? Has any other people you found have ha also have that one as well? Well, not so far this year, but last year I think two families came and found me. We're like us too, us too. We did have one family come by this morning that they weren't a glute one family, but she said my son had was cured by the ketogenic diet. So she said he was on it for two years. Just a little guy. He was yeah. on it for two years, seizure freedom, been off for five and not a seizure since. So she just wanted to say, I'm your people and yeah. you know, sort of you know, we like to identify with each other. We know we know what it's like to be a, a keto parent and uh, it's not always easy, but the things we do for our kids, right? Yeah, exactly.